Hello friends. So today we're going to look at something really interesting. I did a review recently from Tesman on this multimeter that they sent me and I've been so happy with it that this is now my go-to multimeter. Very easy to use and quick. I'm not going to go back into that. There's going to be a link to the review down here at the bottom in the description so you can see it. So Tesman reached out to me and they came up with a new product now and it is basically a voltage detector pen. Now I've had several of these over the years. Very handy to have in your pocket. You just stick it in your pocket, reach out, you can see if there's power in an outlet or on a wire or a loose wire or something like that. These are, are pretty handy to have. Now I've had small ones and little pocketable ones, little ones that go dee dee wee dee bee 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 whatever. This is a new one that came out. Apparently it's available in three different colors. I got the green one. It has a lot of features. It is waterproof and dustproof. It does have a flashlight. Yes, you need one of those when you're working in the dark. It's an LCD display. It shows you percentage and it's a dual sensitivity high and low. Let's take a look at it. So here it is in all its glory. It's a pen, but it's kind of like a little bit bigger than a pen. It's more of a like, uh, if you want to call it a very, very large Sharpie maybe. So once you turn it on, it has a digital display which lights up so you can even see it in the dark if you're working in a dark area. It is dual range so you can change the range from 70 volt to 1 kilo volt or 12 volt to 1 kilo volt. It is pretty sensitive. I've gone next to power outlets in. It'll really just light up. It'll also show you a power indication up here when you reach out to it. Additional features is it does come with a flashlight so you can have a little flashlight if you need to work in the dark it's a pretty decent flashlight actually and rather than have a secondary tool or use your phone like a lot of people do this has its own little built-in flashlight it has a safety cover on the probe so you don't actually go into the into touching any metal and it has a pocket clip now one thing that always impresses me uh, about Tesman it did last time on the multimeter and it does on this this unit comes with batteries included and best part of it is Tesmet is not throwing some of those cheap zinc batteries in it. They're actually putting Duracell alkali batteries in their units. And those come free, so as soon as you open the package, you take it out, it's ready to use. Uh, that's a nice little feature that I've liked about Tesman. Uh, a lot of their equipment that come like that also come, these also come with those batteries. It's a newer company. These are available um, on Amazon. I will have affiliate links below. I will also have links directly to Tesman if you buy them from there. Um, an affiliate link basically has no extra charge to you, but if you buy it through the affiliate link, it does help my channel a little bit. So I'd appreciate it if you did order from there. If you want a pocket tester, that's a little bit big for your pocket, but it is really a nice unit, very solid. Uh, not like the usual cheapy ones that you get for three, four dollars. Uh, again, this is very well priced. I think at the time uh, that I that this video is shot, it's around uh, ten dollars or so. Uh, you can get it from Amazon, like I said. If you're a Prime member, you'll probably get it the same day or the next day. Nice little deal. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. And it's not because Tesman sent me this. Actually, I would buy this. I would be more than happy to buy it. I will keep doing tests on miscellaneous testing equipment, although you know that my channel usually does radios, VHF, UHF, two-way radios, um, but then this is all equipment that we would all use when we're working with our radios. So whenever I get something like this, I'll also throw it in for a quick review. All right, folks, thanks for watching.